You do know you're not leaving, don't you? Until I've had all the juicy details. <laughs> he said he's your brother. Lee. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? Like, um, you and him are like me and Jason. One good, one bad. <laughs> it's not quite as simple as that. He's struggling. Poor bloke. Heroin addict. Just got out of prison. I let him down. I abandoned him. I put myself first instead of sticking around to look after him. But that wasn't your job, was it? I mean, where were your parents? No, my mum was long gone. Dad was worse than useless. Sell his soul for a drink. When my dad first found out I was gay, oh, we had this massive row. <laughs> Told me I was dead to him. Couldn't stand having a son like me. Thought I brought shame on him, so... I walked out. Right, well, you know, Lee can't blame me for that, can he? He was only 16 when my dad's liver finally packed up. So I went home, tried to make peace with my dad. The minute I showed my face, he... he went ballistic, chucked me out. Well, at least he tried, you know. Lee's got to understand that. He didn't know. Wouldn't answer my calls. <sighs> Dad died. Lee went off the rails. I'm a hypocrite, Todd. Sorted, compassionate vicar. When you turn to in a crisis. I can't even help my own flesh and blood. He's been turning up for a while now, demanding money. What, you just go out and blow the whole lot on smack? Yeah, pretty much. I've tried to get him to come and live at mine, so I couldn't go after him, but... I mean, don't they need to see a professional? What do you know about getting people off the gear? <sighs> Rang around a few rehab places, see what I've got to offer. Right. But if... All pretty much said the same thing. Lee's got to want to come off the drugs or there's no point. Yeah, I, well, maybe he'll get sick of living like this and agree to go to rehab. Bet he'll never forgive me for leaving him. Who can blame him? Hey, look, you know, we all make mistakes. I mean, <laughs> I've got a list as long as my arm. He's family, you know? Trust me, he'll forgive you. Bet you needed that. I mean, bending your ear. Oh, come on, we both know I dragged it out of you. <laughs> Listen, can I rely on you to keep all this to yourself? You see, you do realise what you're asking, don't you? I mean, this is top gossip. This is my duty to spread it. <laughs> come on, stop stressing. I can keep it zip when I want. Thank you. Yeah, but you do know Sean's got a sixth sense when it comes to gossip. I mean, he can sniff it out a mile off. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to manage, living under the same roof. I mean, it'll have the thumb screws on me quicker than you can say, secret brother. <laughs> yeah, it has already started to affect my relationship with Sean. He's been feeling neglected. Yeah, I know. He thinks you're cheating on him. No. no it's no wonder, really. Always sneaking around, secret conversations. His imagination's been running riot. But look, you know, it'll be fine. Buy him a new shirt, take him out, make sure everything's about him. It'll be all right. No, you were wrong before. What you said about Jason being the good one and you're the bad. Deep down, you're a lovely man. Hey, I've spent a lot of time building up my badass rep. Don't you go wrecking it. Right. <laughs> Tell it like it is. 
Now, wrong with that. I know the factory rabble 